In this video, I will share with you four different tools and methods for removing the backgrounds out of images. Let's get started. So the first tool I'm going to show is Remove BG. You can find it at remove.bg. When you get there, you don't even have to log in or sign up. You just click Upload Image, select your image, and it does its work. I've found remove.bg to be very reliable and effective in removing the background. It is possible though if it makes mistakes to go in and do some edits. You can erase parts of the image that should have been erased but weren't and you can also restore parts of the image that shouldn't have been taken out but were. When you're happy with the results just click download and you'll get a copy of this image on your computer that you can open and you can use it in your own projects. So now I could, for example, in Microsoft Word, insert an image, let's say this mountain peak, and then I could insert the picture that I just downloaded from remove.bg, and then I could click away from this image, maybe I'll tap enter a couple of times, and now I can insert that image of the man that I downloaded from remove.bg, I can then right click on this image, because I'm in Microsoft Word, this is a necessary step, and I could go to wrap text in front of text. And now I can click and drag and put this gentleman on this mountain peak. So I think that worked out quite well. Let's now look at an alternative to remove.bg, and that is pixlr.com. If you go directly to it, this is what it looks like. It's a photo editor, but it's also got other distinct, really useful and cool features built into it. One of them is Remove Background. So I'm going to click on that, and that takes me to the Pixlr Remove Background tool. This works very similarly to Remove.bg. I could just click to select photos, again without even signing up or logging in. Here's my photo. It looks like the results are quite similar. I do have a few options I can choose from here, and then I could click Save to download that to my computer. I can click to open it up, and the results are very similar to what I got in Remove.bg. A third tool that you might try is Adobe Express. Adobe Express has a paid version, it also has a free version, but once you're signed into your account, you can go here to the Quick Actions and choose Remove Background. This will load up the Adobe Express Remove Background tool. Here you can either drag and drop an image or click to browse on your device, choose an image that you want to remove the background out of, and Adobe Express does its work. There's the result. You can customize it if you want. Customizing it gives you the option of placing your new image in front of other images, just like I did in Microsoft Word, but here I can do it within Adobe Express I could go here to Photos and do a search, let's say for the ocean, and I could put this gentleman in front of the ocean. In order to move this image of the ocean behind the man, I would go over here and click and drag to reorder the two images, and there's the result. If I'm done with my image and like how it looks, I can click here to download the image to my computer, and there's the finished product. So, so far we've looked at three powerful tools that help us remove the backgrounds out of images. Remove.bg, which is fantastic. It may be the perfect option for you in many cases. And if you want to learn more about this, watch my video dedicated just to Remove.bg. We also have Pixlr with its great Remove.bg tool. I have found that depending on the photo, sometimes remove.bg works better, sometimes pixlr remove bg works better. So I think it's useful to know about both. And then we also talked about Adobe Express, which you do need to have a login in order to use the remove background tool. But the nice thing about Adobe Express is that you can do some edits beyond just removing the background and fine tuning it. You can then put your new image in front of another image right there inside of Adobe Express. You don't need Photoshop, you don't need Microsoft Word or Google Docs or anything else like that. And then you can download your image. Okay, there's one more tool that I want to spotlight that can help us remove background images, and that is PowerPoint. So I've inserted into PowerPoint two images, a desert image and that same gentleman standing in the street. If you have a modern version of Microsoft PowerPoint, you can just select an image, go to the Picture Format tab, and here at the left you should see Remove Background. You can see that it did an imperfect job of removing the background. 
Everything in purple will be removed, but the rest of the image will remain. Fortunately, we do have some options to fine tune the results. So I want to mark more areas to remove. So I click here, and then I can just draw a line across the areas that I want to remove. I want to remove that area, maybe that area there. And I even want to remove the space between his arm and his torso, there and there. Look how beautifully that worked. And then there are areas I want to keep, namely his shoes. So I'll just draw lines on his shoes. And you can see that that affected the background. So now I'm gonna draw again to remove those areas. So it does take a little work sometimes to fine tune this exactly the way you want it to be. But when you're done, check Keep Changes and look how good the result looks. At this point, if I want to get this image out of PowerPoint, I could go here to File, choose Save As, and I could put in a file name, and choose a file type. For example, JPEG or PNG. Either one of those would work great as an image. So I saved that to my desktop. Let's take a look at the result. Here's the image on my desktop. Now I want you to see that that same option is also available in Microsoft Word. So you can just go to Picture Format, Remove Background, and use the tool exactly the way we did in Microsoft PowerPoint, but now doing it in Word. So in this video, we've looked at four different options for removing backgrounds out of photos. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell, and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, consider clicking the thanks button below the video. You could also support me through my Patreon account and by buying channel merch, and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video.